Now, after just 100 days, I can report to the nation, America is on the move again. President Biden has just delivered his first address to Congress, saying our nation is turning crisis into opportunity and pushing for a major investment in families, children, and education. Tomorrow is day 100 of the Biden presidency. Tonight, he called for another $1.8 trillion to be invested in the American people in a move that could transform some pillars of what our government does. CBS4's Natalie Brand is covering President Biden's address on Capitol Hill. President Biden used his first address to a joint session of Congress to deliver his vision of a country emerging from the pandemic. America is on the move again. Coronavirus restrictions meant a much smaller audience in the House chamber. Madam Vice President. But Vice President Harris and Speaker Pelosi made history as the first two women to share the dais with the president. President Biden focused on selling his massive infrastructure proposal, calling it a blue collar blueprint to build America. Wall Street didn't build this country. The middle class built the country, and unions built the middle class. And the president looked to build support for his new $1.8 trillion American Families Plan. No one should have to choose between a job and a paycheck or taking care of themselves and their loved ones or parent or spouse or child. The president also addressed legislative goals that have stalled in a divided Congress, from immigration to police reform. Let's get it done next month. By the first anniversary of George Floyd's death. Republican lawmakers have accused the president of not honoring his pledge to work across the aisle. We have to prove democracy still works, that our government still works, and we can deliver for our people. Wednesday, he again called for unity, arguing his administration has delivered real results in the first 100 days. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill.